What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's like, <laughs> you just crank them out. It's just back to back. Welcome back to Auto Auction Revos. We literally just ended the last video. Start the next one. And I do this all day. Like, by the time I'm done, I'm looking at my watch. It's 440 and they're closing the gates. Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We have a special guest with us today. Monkey hey. Wrench Mike is in the house. You have not missaid my name in so long. It's nice. I was intentional. Yeah. Yeah. Like Monkey Pox Mikes is what I... Mon monkey, monkey Winch. Monkey Mike is what I really like. That's my favorite. Monkey. <laughs> Welcome back. We got Monkey Winch Mike with us today. It's kind of hard to say like Monkey that. Pox Mike is a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. He's never had monkey pox. Not that I know of. No. Have you ever had monkey pox? Never had monkey pox. No? I've heard it's a horrible, nasty yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, there's all kinds of crap cropping up these days, man. <laughs> Somebody said monkey pox. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a joke. I hate a joke, man. It's dead serious. Well, it's, it's, it's it's serious. Yeah, it's serious. Anyway, we're going to jump into this video out here at Insurance Auto Auctions here in Oklahoma City. We're going to see what we can find. Be sure to check out Monkey Wrench Mike's videos. I'm going to put a link to his channel down below. Just click it. I almost said quick it. Click it. I've been mis... mis see? Mispronouncing. <laughs> you know why I haven't eaten today? Yeah, I'm hungry. Yep. I need a sandwich or something. We're going to jump into this video, but go check out Monkey Wrench Mike in the link down below. Yeah. Oh, that looks kind of... That's kind of rough. We were getting ready to go over here and take a look at this old Ford Windstar. I don't know. I bet this is a donation. So it's got some pop tires. I used to love these things, man. Oh, I'm sorry. They changed the name. It's a Freestar. Freestar. Used to be <laughs> called a Windstar, but they, uh, they changed it to a Freestar. It says it starts... That's typical for these old Fords. Transmissions were uh, like glass. Uh huh. Oh, I bet my daughter would just love. No. <laughs> no. Oh, there's no seats. Oh, there's. Okay. One seat. Yeah. That's perfect. That way, the kids are so far behind you, you don't even hear them. You can't. You can't hit them when you're swinging back. Oh, see now that sucks. You got to be able to <laughs> swing and hit them. If it were me, I'd put a plexiglass wall right in between them. Let him just go at it and turn the radio up. <laughs> no, Only it's... the strong survive. <laughs> it teaches, <laughs> teaches your kids to be tough. <laughs> or uh, turns them into psychos. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, could be either way. Um, let's take a look and just see what we got here, guys. Because we are... We're running out of cars. I've been here since... What time? 9.30? 9.30. And what is it? 1.30? Yes. Golly, man. Yeah, I, I spend uh, a good portion of my day filming, and then I go home and I spend another good portion of my day editing. So we'll see if we can find anything here, but there's just not much left. I think we've pretty much run through the majority of the cars. Actually, I think there was something over here that I saw. I can't remember what it was, though. I'll know it when I see it. But it was definitely on this side. And I wanted to come back and look at it. Ooh, that's a nice uh, Silverado. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I'm hungry. Oh, Swadley's. Dang it. Uh, yeah, you know, I forgot to eat today. I'm going to have to go get me something to, something to munch on before I lose weight. I don't want that to happen. Well, we're not having any luck here. I don't particularly like filming while walking i like to pick the cars and film the cars yeah but i got so many people i did it just to try it out and see if people liked it and they loved it they like to see there's a bmw back there yeah they were like it feels like we're with you you know walking around the yard instead of you just picking the cars and so yeah it's not too bad x drive it is a 2012. It's a run and drive with 145,000 miles on the odometer. It's got good tires. It's dead, of course. Batteries are always dead on European cars. It actually looks pretty good, guys. This is nice. This is nice. What is a 535? Oh, yeah. This is the one you want. You know, forget the little 528s, forget the 530s. You want the 535. Let's see what it's got under the hood here. Another, Another marker. I just go behind you. Another problem. 
Oh, she's a little dirty. <laughs> she's she's he's a little dirty. Oh my goodness, the hood struts wow. stay up here. So, well, I see some wires without the looms. That's normal for a BMW and a Mercedes. Where's my, let me throw a jump on it real quick because we know it's dead. But, uh, why is this here? That's what I want to know. Is it a, yeah. is it a pedal? Is it a, it's insurance. Yes, type other. Oh boy. So it could be anything. That could be, yeah, that could, that could literally be anything. So the question is then, does it run? It looks like it's got, it looks like it's got more than 140,000 miles. <laughs> That's for sure. This was not loved. Or maybe they just lived on a dirt road, you know? And is this the, oh, there we go. I think that's it. Normally they spark or something, yeah. you know? This did... Ah! Did you jump? A did it bit. scare you? Probably not. Well... Let her rip. I got a hunch it ain't gonna do nothing, Mike. Something... There's still nothing in here. I'm not sure it's even... Oh, wow. I can't even... I can't fit in this. Yeah. Well, there's power because the seat works. Okay. All right, let's uh, see what happens. <laughs> it sounds good. Engine coolant level low. It's charging at 15 volts. Wow, battery discharging. <laughs> And uh, coolant level is low. Hmm. This is nice on the inside. It really is. Uh, the outside doesn't look too bad either. Good tires. It's just kind of nasty under the hood. Yeah, this is not bad. I could do this. How much do you think this is worth? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it does have some miles on it. Yeah. I didn't see any hail damage either. Does it go into gear? Yeah, it goes into gear. Oh, wow. That was a little violent, but... Do you hear that little tapping under the hood? I hear a little tap, 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 tap. Less important window works important window works. I don't know. This is... Maybe that's just the direct injection. Yeah, I think that's just the fuel injector. That's not fun. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it ran up over something in... Uh... You go ahead and shut it off then. That didn't take long. The temperature gauge hasn't moved though. So well we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and shut her off. Just to be safe there. Certainly don't want to tear anything up, but it does make me wonder if uh, maybe it went up over something. Oh, look. Oh, never mind. That's just a bolt. Yeah, you can't see anything. There's no... Yeah, how do you work on anything? I, I, that, exactly. That's that's why I tend not to buy these. <laughs> Plus, they're expensive. And then the parts are expensive. Yeah. And then even if you do the labor yourself, it's a real pain. Um, yeah, there ain't nothing in there. Oh, okay. There's nothing in there. So, obviously, she got a leak somewhere. I don't know. A little too rich for my blood, anyway. All right. Continuing on our way. Oh, wow. Look at the Tahoe. Wow. That took a, a nasty spill. I remember my grandma used to say that. 
Oh, he took a nasty spill. <laughs> I know your legs bleeding, you're all cut up. Took a nasty spill and be still. She told me that a lot. Be still. Be still. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be still? No, it's S T F U. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's parenting today is slightly different from uh, the way it used to be. Look at that Dodge with a stripe on it. Uh, looks like a minivan. Looks like a Dodge Grand Caravan. It is. The racing stripe. Somebody put a racing stripe on a a Dodge Grand Caravan. That's oh a Kia Stinger. I like these. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, from a Volvo dealership, no less. Oh, that's a deer. There's still fur. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Um. I wonder if the deer's okay. Dang, that did a lot of damage. Taste it. No. I'll buy lunch. <laughs> Another old Zolero. I've been seeing so many of these out here. I wonder why. I don't know. I haven't seen an Alero in forever. And then I saw one a couple weeks back, and now they've been popping up all over. Yeah. There was something up here. I, I swear I saw something, and I was like, I'm going to come back around and look at it. I know you found that, uh, what was that, the Honda Insight. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, if you guys want to see the Honda Insight, go check out Monkey Wrench Mike's video. Because he's got that on his channel. And uh, maybe he'll buy it. Because everybody's been asking me to buy it forever. Really? And I was like, nope. Not a chance. Not going to happen. But uh, Monkey Wrench Mike might get it. If they ever if they ever put it up for sale. Oh, wow. That's... That's... The orange and the silver? Yeah. Isn't that cool? <laughs> that's... That's... Cool is exactly... What I was thinking. Actually, I do kind of like it. Ooh, it's got, ooh, the other side is horrible. Oh, is it? Uh, you can see it. Crashed, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice, though. This is a, a, a Nissan Juke, right? Isn't that what it's called? Uh -huh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, they're kind of weird looking. Uh, they're different. I shouldn't say weird. They're, they're, they're different. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, wow. That's... Yeah, that's significant damage. Catering, McAllister's Deli, really? Uh, have you had McAllister's? Yes. Oh my goodness, they, what, what is that sandwich? It's the big one, it's called like the King or, or Meat King or, I can't I remember, it is, that. dude, it's got like, it's piled like a foot tall. It is huge. Oh. I am so hungry. I hope nobody watching this video is like waiting on their lunch break or something right now. <laughs> Cause I'm starving, man. There's a nice little S10 over there. Or no, sorry, it's a GMC Sonoma. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing, but people will yell at you because you got it wrong. Oh, this is it, Mike. What? Right there. Look at this decked out PT. I mean, chrome everywhere. And that's aftermarket, Mike. Somebody intentionally added all of this chrome. I mean, yeah, that that was that was. I'm, what I'm trying to say is it was on purpose. Okay. Somebody really, <laughs> they really went through the trouble. Added this. Oh wow! Yeah. You got your serious XM. I remember <laughs> doing that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Back in the days, that's what you had to do. Back in the day, I still do. <laughs> oh, right. <clears throat> a couple of my cars from the 80s and 90s still have those. Yeah. <laughs> and the Sirius XM works fine. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Um, so, you know, not only do they put all the chrome here. Do you remember these, Mike? No. You don't remember these? This was a thing like in the 50s and the 60s. People used to do their hot rods. You drill a hole in your taillight lens and you put this little purple gem in there. Yeah. And at night, it would glow kind of a purple. You'd have your red light, but it would glow kind of a purple really? glow. It's kind of like saying, hey, I'm kind of a badass. This car is going to kick your ass type of thing is what it was. It yeah, I... I turn on the key, will it? Or the... If you hit the brakes, it oh. should just come on. Uh-oh. Oh, is it a fire car? Yeah. Oh. Well... I'm 
it, it's, still on. it's got power. Okay. Is it on? I don't see it. Hit the brakes. There it goes. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, the little gym thing is super hard to see in the daytime. Oh, okay. So it's got power and it was on fire? Yeah, look at it. Oh my. <laughs> Normally they disconnect the battery. <laughs> this was... Where was the fire? I don't... Ooh, wow, that smell. It yeah, smell. that smell. Ooh, that smell. Oh, it was on that side. So what happened? The whole inside of the car looks like it burnt down, but there's like no damage. Yeah. <laughs> it needs a, a, a rag and a wipe. Good as new. Oh my goodness. Oh, the seat is completely gone. The whole seat is, is burnt to the ground. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Did this have heated seats or was it no. someone uh -uh. Oh. Someone left. Is that a cigarette butt right there? It might be. Car seats since like the 70s have been anti-flammatory, right? Fire retardant? I wonder if somebody I've seen Mercedes seats that are burned. Really? Yeah. I wonder if somebody lit it up. Maybe they stole it. They're like, I gotta have this PT cruiser, man. And they're like, well, we better get rid of the evidence because the cops are probably going to really investigate this one. You think it starts? Yeah. I just, I don't understand why it burnt down unless maybe it was a cigarette. I, there was something in the seat down there. I couldn't see what it was, but you'd think a cigarette butt would have yeah, would have burned first. up. Boy, this thing, just the smell, Mike. Mm. It's, yeah, it's pretty bad. I, I, is this an insurance? It's been detailed. Oh, well, we need to call them back. <laughs> Tell them they missed the spot. <laughs> wow. This is, uh, let's pop the hood. I don't really want to touch. Yeah. You want my rag? It's got 100,000 miles. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Let's see if the important window works. It sure does. Less important window. Yes. I wonder if the fire window works. The fire window even works. This is bizarre. Oh, they put chrome all over here too. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. PCV valve, battery, cabin filter, antifreeze, front end check, fan assembly. Oh, they got chrome hood shocks. Oh my, really? Some wires running up to... Interesting. Oh, they're lights. Those light up at night. That was a thing when I was a kid. When I was a teenager, we used to do that and get pulled over for it. All right, we're gonna shut it. I'm gonna shut it off because I, I sure don't want this thing to light itself back. <laughs> Could you imagine if I was responsible for catching a car on fire out here? They'd never let. Explain that. <laughs> well, you should you should have put something on the windshield that said, "Do not start." Although I think it's common sense. If a car has been on fire, you might not want to start it. I figured it was safe because they left the battery hooked up. Yeah. Normally on a fire car, they they disconnect the battery. So there you go. I I bet some some older guy that used to do that back. I in the guarantee 50s. it was an older guy. Yeah. Yeah. He added these lights. Yeah. Those little booby lights or whatever they are and, and yeah. you've got a dealer sticker here okay. so it looks like it was at a car dealer going up for sale at some point yeah. it's not the turbo which is unfortunate because the turbos have the same engine the two, i think it's the 2.4 that the srt4 neons had oh, they're really? pretty potent little engines and i think those are the touring editions oh. i had one i bought it from copart for nothing because the transmission didn't work these have a real common problem with the PICM module or whatever. Uh -oh. It's a ground wire. 
and it, you have to add a ground wire to it to the frame to the box to the computer box and then it works fine if not the transmission won't shift the gauges start going all over the place huh. so people discard them they don't realize all you have to do is literally take a 50 cent wire and just attach it and you're good nice. to go nobody likes these anymore though no. yeah i i still do my uncle loved them he was obsessed with these things uh, he had one, and it, uh, <laughs> he had a head gasket put on, and the engine was bad, and he just, he got very depressed over it sitting in his yard oh. for months and months and months. Oh. No matter how much money he spent on it, he could never, it, it was just junk, you know, it was junk. All right, the, I told you there was one, you know what, I need a thumbnail of this one. Let me, hold on guys, let, let me come back to you here. All right. I'm eyeballing that little S15 Sonoma over there, but uh, it looks like something bad happened to the whole front section. <laughs> it's The paint's completely missing. There's a uh, Dodge Nitro over there with 40,000 miles on it. Yeah. I had one of those. Yeah. It, uh, that one has a bad engine. The engine just knocks and knocks and knocks. Oh, we're over here by one of your cars. Yeah, that's in what no yeah that's in one of your videos too so it looks like somebody attempted to start some kind of body work on this car donation foundation 175,000 miles non runner that figures let me guess no keys uh oh there's no key yeah well that sucks. I love these little trucks. I really do. That's fine. We'll continue on. We'll see if we can't find something else. I see a purple Challenger up here. Everybody loves a Dodge Challenger. Um, man, we're just, we're running short on content today, guys. That's because we looked up all the good cars. We've already found them all. Uh-oh, Mike found something. What'd he find? Is that a Hyundai Genesis? Yeah. Or is that a Tiburon? That's a Genesis, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they threw a Genesis badge on. Those are pretty slick cars. My favorite is the 3.8 liter. Okay. The 3.8 yeah. with a manual transmission. They're like miniature rocket ships, <laughs> man. I wanted one so bad back in the day, but I couldn't get the financing for it. Yeah. So I ended up with a Chevy Cruze instead. I was I was so mad. <laughs> I was, was really upset that I did not get the car that I wanted. Ooh, Audi. Hello. What is that, a Q5? Should be. Sport, sport line or whatever. I smell fire. You smell that? Yeah. It's probably just not coming over. From oh, Lord. I hope that's not the PT Cruiser lit up. <laughs> oh, stand here and smell it. One of these cars. This is an S line. Wow. D <laughs> yeah, something over here is very charred. Like it's. Oh, probably that right there. Where? Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is, Mike. Yeah, that would do it. Wow. Look at all the stickers. Good night. Well, this was a serious, like, off-roading beast. Ooh. Oh, is that a... That's fur. It's just stuck in <laughs> It was probably on fire, and the forest animals came running up, you know, to check it out, and whoops. <laughs> <laughs> um, it looks like this has got a... Uh, like a straight six or something under the hood. This thing is bizarre. Take a look at this, guys. Yeah, I don't know. Was it like a Land Cruiser? Is that mm -hmm. what is that what this is? Ninety three Toyota Land Cruiser. Somebody was very serious. Uh, what do you think the chances are? It was a faulty wiring job. Probably something wrong with wiring the the winch. Oh, yeah, there's oh my. Mm. That's your stats, stats, stats. <laughs> Woo! Yep, I'm just holding my breath. So, wow. That is toxic. 
That's kind of oh, scary. Oh, wow. I think that smell is carcinogic. Cars, <laughs> cars, 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 cars. <laughs> what is that word? I can't even say it. Carcinogenic. Carcinogenic. Jeez. Carcin car what did I say? Car cargenic? Carcinogenic. Carcinogenic? Something. It's carcinogenic. Okay. Well, hey, listen, I'm a high school dropout, man. What do you want? Well, yeah, we're about at the end of the line here. I saw that Audi, but I don't know. That's Why not. Is it so high? I'm betting there's no motor under the hood of this one. What do you think? Either that or it was a donk. You know, one of those cars that they, they jacked way up and. Wow. So someone intentionally made it look like this. Um, <laughs> Mike oh, almost had a spill. Here's why. Is it wrecked? It's missing some parts. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yeah. What could you have hit with this thing sitting 14 inches off the ground? I mean, look how high this thing sits. Huh. I like the color, though. It's cool. Yeah, that plum crazy purple. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful color. I do like it. I like the wheels. I don't like the V6. You all right, Mike? I'm Are tripping you... over rocks. <laughs> this, this guy, have you been drinking? <laughs> <laughs> this, this guy's tripping all over himself out here today. You don't like this engine, though. No. Well, it's a good engine, but not in a car that's supposed to be a sports car. Yeah. You know, what's the fun in having a Challenger if it's got a V6 under the hood? Got to have at least the 5.7, yeah. the, the basic Hemi. Well, okay. let's see what else we can find. I don't know if... The, ooh, another Audi. Ouch. Never mind. That one's all... I would love to find a uh, an A7 or an S7 out here. Yeah. You just don't see those very often anymore. Or an RS7 would be even better. Oh, you know what I found at the other auto auction yesterday? What? An I8 convertible, the Roadster, with a wrap. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I hope that video does well. Ooh. Because it's not every day you find one of those. Yeah. Here's you an easy to fix Mustang, Mike. Yeah. It only needs the whole front end. Yeah. Yep, the hood is literally folded on that one. There's oh, oh, hood. oh, oh, hello. And this is what I was looking for right here. This is what I was looking for. 1988. Oh, it, you know what it looks like? Yeah. Almost, I know it's not, but it looks like a Super Coupe. The ones that were, were they supercharged? I think they had a 3.8 liter supercharged V6. Yeah. Oh, it, it looks like a Super Coupe. Oh, oh no. no. Okay, well, shoot. What's with all the burn cars? Man. Five liter. Yeah, this is what I have in yeah. all of my Mustangs. It's also the same engine I have in my 83 Cougar. I could use this though. I could use the motor. I want a spare engine so bad. I'm so worried. These engines go for three thousand dollars with miles on them because they don't. They just don't make them anymore. You know. Wow. So if you can find one, like if you could get this car for five hundred bucks or that flattened Mustang, mm -hmm. which one of the family members of that car reached out to me. Yeah, it was it was bad. Two people passed away and two children were seriously injured. Yeah, it was a it was a full car. Shoot. So, shoot, shoot. yeah, um, I don't know. Like, I'd still buy it. I, yeah. I would still. I try to explain to people that it's, it's not being insensitive. It's just it's it's parts at this point is is yeah. what it is, and that's what anybody that gets it's going to get it for. It's going to be for whatever parts are left. Um, horrible things have happened to people in all of these cars out here. You know, like none of this was somebody's good day. But we still buy them and we still use the parts that we can or we fix them. You know, it's just, it's the, it's the way it goes. Um, this one, I don't know, Mike. I, I might, I think I might pass <laughs> on this. You want to see if it starts? You want to, let's hook the, is the battery still hooked up? Oh my goodness. See, I, the first thing you do is you disconnect the battery. If you get the fire out, you know, unhook the battery. It was clean. It was really clean. And I love these wheels, man. 
the spoiler big dual exhaust chrome pipes coming out of the back and there's a flag on the back that says Italia oh okay yeah well that's uh that's honestly a crying shame how much you want to bet it was like a fuel leak yeah. at the injectors or something because mm -hmm. your distributor would have been right, right here, here and yeah. it's totally melted and your injectors literally sit right there right underneath huh i'll tell you what for the right price i take the i take the engine out of this yeah it's an awful lot of work though everything's burned up like there's no plastics left on it that's any good anymore yeah i think it'd probably be more work really than than it's worth I don't know. You know what you could do with something like this? The okay. body and interior is still in great shape. Uh -huh. You could pull all this fuel injection crap out and just toss a carburetor on it. Oh. Same engine. You just yeah. put a new strip, take the engine out, clean all this mess up, fix any wiring that might need fixed for the headlights, and just throw a carburetor on it. What is going on here? There we go. That doesn't even close all the way. <laughs> no, it's... Yeah, I don't know. I love the car though, but this this one I I think not, guys. Mike, Mike, Mike. Look. What is this? Ah. Oh wow! Now that's how you end a video, Ooh. right here. You've got the old school rally wheels. Look at those. The stripes. Seventy nine Z twenty eight. Oh um, <laughs> that ain't stock, Mike. That's a Would Vortec. Vortec? Ah! 5.3, 6 liter, don't know. Jeez. Um, I can see headers. I can see shiny headers. It's still fuel injected, so they didn't they didn't go and carbureted. The block has been painted. It's a nice old school Chevy orange. I wish we could see more. Man, it's detailed, Mike. This is interesting. Where did the hood and the T-tops go? Yeah. They're just gone. You got some rust bubbles. Right? There. Man, this is... Uh, and you can't get into it because they've... Yeah. They've taped it all up. <sighs> wow. Oh, my. My godfather had one of these when I was born. And he, he had it for a long time. His was red. This is this is an orange color, but his was bright red, man. He still has it. Jeez. Yeah, he, he lives in Tulsa. He still has it. He's been, I guess, trying to retrofit a transmission into it for like five years, and he just ain't had the time to mess with it. Yeah. You know, it's just one of those projects that got put on the, on the back burner and uh, never got finished. Yeah. Wow. Does that have keys in it? It does, yeah. There's the keys. <sighs> so close. How much? So far. How much money do I need for this, I wonder? It says it's a run and drive, too. Okay. Is this a mileage, 131? I guess so. But that, you don't know because the no. engine's completely different. And so it's, it's probably a it's probably a five-digit odometer, too. Yeah. I would I would jump on this. I really would. Yeah, run and drive, 131, 045 on the miles. But yeah, with an aftermarket, there is no tell. This thing is pretty slick. This is a good driver quality. It's banged up a little bit. It's got some scrapes and scuffs. But I mean, this is something you could just go out and cruise and not give a damn about. You know, romp on it and just have yourself a time with this old girl, man. God, look at the front end of this. You know why there's no hood? Because the hood won't fit. Look at that engine. Look how it yes. look. You gotta have a special. Yeah. You gotta have a cowl induction hood, and not just for here, but it looks like this air intake right here would probably go over the hood as well. Yeah. And there's a wiring harness here. That's not gonna fit. It's got a 102 millimeter throttle body. Well. Boy, they painted the engine bay, then put the engine in. That's a good shape. Yeah, they did. They did good on this. I sure wish we could see more leather or pleather seats. Pleather leather seats. They uh, have Z28 embroidered on them. It's a nice car. Probably going to go for more money than I have left in the bank, though. I spent all my money already. So unless I start selling things, 
I don't really have any more money to buy anything else. We'll sell some stuff. Dang it. <laughs> you want to buy? No. You looking? I got lots of 80s and 90s stuff that I'd sell. I got a 91 Firebird no. formula yeah. that I'm ready to sell. I've got a 91, <clears throat> what is that? The convertible, the Pontiac Sunbird. Sunbird. I'm ready to sell. Yeah. I've got an 03 Escalade. <laughs> hey, you looking for an Escalade? <laughs> I got an 03. I one of them. I got an 03 Escalade. Yeah. It runs and drives with cold air. Do you remember? It's better than mine. Do you it, still have yours? No, I sold you it. You sold it? Like that. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Even with the mileage. Really? Yep. You want to sell mine? I could sell it in a heartbeat. I bet, I bet you could. Boy, we may have to we may have to go that route, Mike. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we're gonna get out of here. Big shout out to Monkey Wrench Mike for coming out and hanging with us today. Certainly appreciate it. Go check him out. His link will be below this video. And if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know. Drop your comments below and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.